Welcome to the She Is podcast, where we are encouraging and equipping women to be confident in God's promises. I'm Sherry. I'm Jamie. And I'm Nicole. We are women in different ages and stages of life. We are active in ministry and are here to have a Bible-based conversation about our identity in Christ. So get ready to be encouraged and equipped as we share with you today. Hi everyone, welcome back to the She Is podcast. Hello! <laughs> We're so glad that you all are joining us for another episode mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, we're just so excited about living life and yeah. moving yeah. forward with the Lord. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, we have a great conversation in store for you today. So buckle in and get ready. We're going to be talking about mm. um, just walking through this life with the Lord. And, mm. you know, how do we know uh, if we're hearing his voice? How do we know if we're going the right way? Mm. Um, what, what does it mean if we're facing opposition and things yeah. that that we're going through how do how do we traverse this life um with the lord so yeah we just talk about a lot of uh, truths and and uh, yeah i just really want to um just encourage you all to just keep walking with the lord and and growing in him mm -hmm. so yeah get ready here we go all right so <laughs> valentine's day yeah just happened <laughs> if you love chocolate like me it's yes like, both hands raised right yeah. right here oh and now today it all goes on sale oh. it's such a beautiful thing I I know, know, right? jesus does love me <laughs> <laughs> i miss valentine I know. <laughs> so clearly you guys are are more into the sweets yes yes okay oh yes okay thank you lord do Ice you cream. do you have any okay. like for va so for Valentine's treats, what are what are maybe some things you prefer, or and, and maybe some things that you could live without? Okay. Oh. My favorite is the cherry cordials. Oh, those are my yeah. all-time favorite. Those are yummy. Yes. How do you do? You have a special way that you like enjoy them. Um, oh, like yeah. do you just like go for it? Yeah, or? because they're so messy. So you just have to <laughs> yeah. kind of put the whole thing in your mouth and be a chipmunk for a second, and then get it. Down. <laughs> so do you do you like chew, start chewing right away, or do you let the chocolate melt a little bit? No, you gotta get right into it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then the cherry stuff oozes out. Oh, oh it's so good. Yes. You know, my <laughs> son. Really yeah. My son showed me. <clears throat> at Christmas time, they had some that had like bubbly, like soda. It was like a, mm. uh, um, I forget what it was called. It was like a cherry soda type. Interesting. And I, mm. I was like, oh, it, it, and it, and you couldn't really tell it, but it did give it a different flavor. They oh. were pretty tasty. That sounds kind of good. Gotta have mm. to look for those. Yeah, yeah, yummy. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, how about a, a not so favorite? Um, I don't know. The sweet... Uh, they're not sweet tarts. They're like the little the heart sweet candies. Hearts. They're super hard, though, usually. They're like... They almost taste stale. Those when conversation you get heart things. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They're you like have to get them at the same time, like at the right time. I don't know. Maybe they always taste stale. Well, I don't they, know. Maybe it's just my taste buds. <laughs> <laughs> so. They are in a cardboard box. Yeah. They're like yeah. chalk or I mean, something. they're cute. <laughs> yeah, chalk. <laughs> it's like, yum. Let's just go get some of those. <laughs> Kid, go to school again. <laughs> yeah. I feel like those were kind of the, like, with, uh, like, all the holiday parties we would have. I yeah, felt like mm -hmm. that was, like, something that was always right. at those parties. And yeah. I think they're different now than they were. When I was young, I really liked mm -hmm. them, and they were Me different, too. and they were... They weren't as hard, mm -hmm. and you could just put them in your mouth, and they would just dissolve. They mm -hmm. they were good. Because I like the no. wedding mints, because those mm -hmm. are actually Ooh. soft. Like, oh, my yeah, gosh. like apple pounds and pounds of them. Yes. yes. That's why I love, love going to weddings, because those mints. are usually always there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dollar store. Oh. You can get butter mints at the dollar store. Yeah. They're so good. Okay. okay. My faves. But you know what you shouldn't get at the dollar store? Dollar store chocolate. It's yeah. not no, very good. It's, no, it's not, not very good. good. It's a letdown. Yeah. That's what my n not so much was because yeah. I love chocolates and caramel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My favorite way to have chocolate is put it in the refrigerator or the freezer. Yes. I oh, love it in the freezer Oh, man, too. it's so good. <laughs> Once it starts melting, I don't want it melting until after I've started eating it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't. I don't like to open it and it be melty. I know. It yeah. has a different flavor. If I wanted hot chocolate, I would just eat it. 
<laughs> Just put it in the microwave for a couple seconds, and then, yeah. then drizzle that over ice cream, you know. Oh, but, yes. uh, Just but lick it out of the rack. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh! <laughs> but yeah, the 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 dime store or dollar store chocolates—they don't. It doesn't taste the same. I think good chocolate requires probably more expensive ingredients than the dollar yep. store is willing to like invest. Right. right. Yes. Yeah. Got to got to make a buck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Okay. Good one. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I apologize for that. <laughs> well, you know. uh-huh. It was unintentional. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what's your favorite treat, Sherry? Tell My us. Favorite? You know, and it's kind of changed. Where before it was... Um, anything covered in chocolate. I really didn't care as long as it wasn't the dime store stuff. But <laughs> but now my my favorite really is I'm a nibbler. So mm-hmm. I, I don't want like a whole candy bar. I want just the nibbles of candy. Like um, chocolate covered peanuts or Ooh. peanut clusters. You add caramel to that. Oh boy. Heaven. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so I'm I'm really now I don't know if it's Taste buds changed over years or what, but now I'm just all about chocolate and caramel. Mm, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Good stuff. Yeah. And lately, I just really want caramel. So, like, if somebody asks me what kind of coffee I want or something like that, then it's all about the caramel. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, I'm, a, yeah. I'm changing a little bit. I'm refining. Yes. You're so sophisticated, Pastor yes. <laughs> Refining my tastes. Yes. Yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, yes, I love I love the chocolate too. Yeah, mm-hmm. the good the good stuff. Mm-hmm. You had it like a caramello bar. <gasps> Those just are. Oh, oh, I haven't. You're missing out. They're so they're, they're like so melty, melty <laughs> and gooey. Yeah, they're they're messy. Yeah, mm-hmm. so have, good. Have a napkin close by, but yeah, yeah. those are like all good. It was messy though, right? Mm-hmm. If it's messy, like stringy yeah. cheese, well, oh, we yes. kind of got off the chocolate, but, you know, anything stringy like that, <laughs> you know, like guys. stringy <laughs> food. <laughs> stringy and sophisticated. Because <laughs> you can be both. <laughs> but yeah, so, yeah, like, if it's going to be candy, yeah, chocolate's good. But I, my favorite, like, dessert, and I don't know if this is, like, Valentine specific, oh, yeah, but... Yeah. Cookies, oh. man. Cookies are just where it's at. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're very portable, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, you just put them in a little baggie, take mm-hmm. them to go, or fresh out of the oven. Mm-hmm. That's good too. Mm-hmm. Oh, fresh oh. out of the oven. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. And you can you mm-hmm. can grab a couple and feel good about it. You can eat them with your hands. I right. <laughs> like there's so right. many perks to eating cookies. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. I love to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> You're very passionate about yes. it. So, <laughs> what's your favorite cookie? You know, I. It's it. I can't say. I just. I just. Cookies love cookie. in general. Yeah, I love chocolate chip cookies. I love sugar cookies. Snickerdoodle cookies. Oh, snickerdoodles. Uh-huh. Yeah, mm-hmm. the best. Yeah, I love Girl Scout cookies. Mm-hmm. Um, peanut butter cookies. Mm-hmm. Um, once uh, someone got Lene some cookies from. They ordered them online. I don't even know where they came from, but they were like humongous. And um, but they're like. They're kind of like they started baking and then they like freeze them and then they send them to you like frozen and then you like finish cooking them oh, and they're sad. like they're so thick and just gooey and you're like oh my gosh I'm like I want this for my birthday cake <laughs> get me these cookies anyway I don't know where they came from but they were see and I love my baked heavenly. goods just a little undercooked mm-hmm. I love that yeah, yeah. these ones yeah. were. Mm. Mm-hmm. Whoever created them, they like got it down <laughs> to us. Oh, side. so um, what's that cookie place called? Oh, in the mall. I don't know. I, don't I know. only There's had a it place once. I just learned about in the mall, and I'm like, what? How do I not know about this? Well, uh, because me and Charlene and Crystal and Amanda went. Where was that? Anyway, we went for a girls' weekend. And we went to this cookie shop because Chris was like, oh, we got to go get cookies. Oh, my goodness. It was the best. Oh, oh, I remember now because we had gone to it. <laughs> oh, she's like, oh, 
cats. Oh my gosh. So cute. Oh, I remember. <laughs> We, it was a uh, women's leadership conference that Oregon Minister Network was putting on. And so we went to that, and they had given um, cookies as like a dessert after your lunch. Oh, and okay. it was from this place. And we were all like, oh, that's the best cookie I think I have ever had. And they're pretty good size. What is the name of it? Is Crumble? It like Crumble. Yeah. Yes. I've heard of them. I've never had them Ooh, before. And I've heard that they have it in Medford now. Yeah, oh. it's, yeah it's in the Medford nice. Mall. I'm like, okay. how do I not know about this? That's because I don't go to the mall. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. It's right, been right. like They're, before COVID. Since but I've now been there, but. Yeah. I have a reason to go to the mall. Right. Same. Yeah. Oh man, they're so Maybe good. Maybe we should take She Is on the Road and we'll <gasps> yeah, like record let's from do that. the mall. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so today we're here eating this. <laughs> And we're going to get blessed. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Lord loves us so much. He just gives it to oh us. He says the desires of our hearts. Can that be? I, I, I just got your cookies right now. I did. Right. Right. <laughs> right. So good. Mm, Even more than mm, like baked mm, cookies, mm. I just like eating the dough. Like, oh, mm-hmm. I could just eat a bowl of dough and be yeah. happy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah, cookie dough is <laughs> pretty rad. Yep, yep. Good stuff. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right. Man, now that I'm hungry. I know. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. But you know, I'm also hungry for the word, so it's okay. Mm. Well, let's dig in then. Okay. <laughs> Sherry, will you pray for us? <laughs> I would love to. Lord, we just thank you and we praise you. We are giggling about mm. these sweet little things, the sweets <laughs> that you <laughs> give us, Lord. That it really, truly is because you love us. And Father, right now, we just thank you. That you love us so much that you would give us the desires. You do give us the little treats. We pray that you are our Valentine, Lord. We we pray that you are our, our listeners, Valentine. Father, we pray that everyone out there feels your love. Because sometimes, Father... Love is hard, Mm -hmm. but Valentine's Day should be every day because you love us so much. It shouldn't be once a year. And so, Lord, right now, we thank you for your love, and we pray love on every listener, everyone that can hear us. We pray that you feel loved because you are. You are so loved. And so, Father, right now, we thank you that not only do you allow us the little treats in our life, but we can dive into your word, which is such a wonderful treat. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for the opportunity to dive into your word, and we thank you for the treats and the nuggets that you have for us today. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Nicole, I think you have something for us today. Yes, I'm excited. Um, so... I have been reading in Acts for all of January, and I have just been inspired, really, by the apostles' stories. And um, and also, we just came back from, well, at the time of this recording, we just came back from a junior-senior trip that we put on for the youth group. And it's just really amazing to be able to talk to the kids who are getting ready to graduate. They're wondering, okay, what's my next step? What do I do, God? And Mm. one of our kids asked um, a really amazing question. And I think it's something that we obviously ask when we're teenagers, but I think we ask it all throughout our life. Mm. And she was like, how do I know whether I'm on the right path or not? And that's like a huge question, obviously, because I think we all want to know, God, Mm -hmm. am I doing what you want me to do? Am I do? Am Mm -hmm. I in your will for my life? That's like obviously, how do you answer that? (laughs) Because you can't really give them the answer; they have to figure it out on Mm -hmm. their own. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where a lot of us start um, cultivating that relationship with God. We have we have to rely on Him, yes, if we're to know if we're in the right in the right, um, Mm -hmm. path for our lives. And so one of the things that I was thinking about during the trip was, you know, I think we have this stigma sometimes in our Christian faith that if we're in the right path, everything's going to be easy. Mm. And I don't think that's the case. I mean, God will open doors. He Mm -hmm. absolutely will open doors. He will make a way, but Mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that everything is going to be easy. Right. And so I just kind of wanted to dive in and talk about this tension that I kind Mm, of see mm -hmm. in the word of God. It's like, yes, God asked me to do this, but it's really hard. 
Yeah. And that's okay. Mm-hmm. But, it, you know, God never promised that he would make everything easy for us, but he did promise he would walk with us. That's so good. And mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. I yes. was just thinking about some examples of where this happens in Scripture, and it's all over the place, I feel like. Um, but, you know, Paul, um, he was, you know, preaching the word. He was traveling all over the place. Mm-hmm. And... Um, he goes to Rome, and, and he knew he was going to be imprisoned and die, but he decided to go anyway. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, and then I was thinking about Esther and the trials that she went through in the palace, and mm-hmm. it wasn't easy. Like, she was among people who didn't believe in God. Like, she was basically alone, mm-hmm. and she had to maintain her own spirit, spiritual walk basically by herself and just rely on God as she walked through that, you know, the mm-hmm. year of preparation and then obviously right. being chosen as queen, yeah. like that's a scary, that would be a scary place yeah. anyways. Yeah. Like you're surrounded by pagan worship and mm-hmm. you're the only one it feels like. Mm-hmm. And, <clears throat> you know, and then she faced death to save her people and yeah. that was a hard thing. Mm-hmm. So um, mm-hmm. the scripture that, came to mind was Acts 21, um, starting in verse 10. Um, and that's where it talks about Paul and, you know, the, he's traveling around, he's preaching the gospel. And, um, so he is in, let's see, Caesarea and he's staying with, um, a a man named Philip called Philip the evangelist. Mm Mm-hmm. And so in verse 10, it it starts and it's saying, uh, Several days later, a man named Agabus, who also had the gift of prophecy, arrived from Judea. He came over, took Paul's belt, and bound his own feet and hands with it. Then he said, The Holy Spirit declares, So shall the owner of this belt be bound by the Jewish leaders in Jerusalem and turned over to the Gentiles. Mm. When we heard this, we and the local believers all begged Paul not to go on to Jerusalem. But he said, Why all this weeping? You are breaking my heart. I am ready not only to be jailed in Jerusalem, but even to die for the sake of the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. When it was clear that we wouldn't persuade him, we gave up and said, The Lord's will be done. Yeah. And and when I read that, I was like, Wow. Even he knew, like, God was telling him. Because obviously it says, like, this guy was prophesying. So this is yeah. from God. God mm-hmm. is telling him, this is what's going to happen to you. Mm-hmm. And I wonder almost if that was a test for oh. Paul. Mm-hmm. And God saying, are you still going to follow me even when you know this is what you're going to face? Wow. Uh, yeah. So I, I, see, I, I see it um, as like, yeah, he was speaking for God, but I feel like both the prophet and the people... Mm-hmm. Um, didn't have that full understanding. Like, yeah. they saw it as God's saying, God's putting a, a no to this. You know, they saw it yeah. as a no from mm-hmm. God. Right. Yeah. And, and I think Paul's like, I know this isn't <laughs> news to me. Yeah. I See, yeah. I, I think it was a confirmation to Paul, but I think, yeah, yeah. It, it did yeah. kind of... Uh, it, it was probably a, a fork in the road, you know, where mm-hmm. he could have made a choice mm-hmm. to to mm-hmm. go his own way. Mm-hmm. But I, I feel like it was a confirmation to him. It's like, yeah, I, yeah. I, I know that's going to happen. I know I'm I'm going to, you know, have to go through some trials. I know yeah. this is going... I'm not going to be a free man to do right. this, right. but that doesn't mean I'm not called to do it. Right, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. exactly. Mm-hmm. But that's funny yeah. that like, <laughs> keep the people were begging him don't do this. And, yeah, yeah, because they they like they see it as a warning from God, whereas I think yeah. Paul's just seeing it as a, well, first this is going to happen, and then this is right. going to happen. Like mm-hmm. he, he just it's like God yeah. gave a roadmap to let know where you know mm-hmm. this this is what you can expect. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just so you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's that's just how I see it. Well, and I think even before all of this, when when Paul. Um, his conversion, we were, Pastor Jim was talking about this in service today. Mm -hmm. Um, God told him when he was, you know, blind and waiting Mm -hmm. that he would suffer for his name. And I'm wondering if, I'm sure he didn't lay everything out Mm because, you know. Because he doesn't do that. (laughs) He doesn't do that. 
But Paul knew, like, I'm going to mm-hmm. suffer for mm-hmm. the gospel. It doesn't mean that you don't go forward with God's right. with what God has called you to do. Well, and it's so. also like, you know, I think about how you were speaking to the teens and, and how we hear from God ourselves is is we, we do have to hear that word from the <laughs> from the Lord for ourselves. Yeah. And if 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 we don't, we're always gonna be questioning. Mm-hmm. But even when we do, it's I mean, it's between us and the Lord. Like mm-hmm. I don't know what God's put on your heart. Right. I don't know what God has called you to do. I don't right. I have I am not privy to those conversations and the right. passions that he's mm-hmm. he's put mm-hmm. on you, the things that you guys are passionate mm-hmm. about. Right. Um, because that's between you and him. I don't know what those promises are. I don't know I, I don't see what you see with your spiritual eyes because right. I'm not you. And right. that's just like, you know, with, with Paul, I feel like, yeah, at his conversion and as he's growing in the Lord, I feel like, yeah, God put that on his heart to go to Rome. He mm-hmm. knew that was his calling. And when you hear from God like that, yeah. people yeah. aren't going to talk you out of it. Right. Because, you know, Paul's like, okay, yeah, I, I heard this from God. Like, yeah, I got it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, so it's just yeah. like you can't you can't tell anyone what the Lord's will is for them because that that's between them and the Lord. Yeah, you know, and we can speak into their lives, but mm-hmm. they're 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 going to have a different viewpoint of it than we do. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. because yeah. this prophet was speaking truth to Paul, right? But that yeah. truth wasn't. Don't go. <laughs> right, right. The interpretation was the, different yeah. than mm-hmm. yeah. So they see it as a warning, and Paul sees it as a confirmation. Yes. <laughs> okay, I must right. be on the right path. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so right. anyway, yeah. Yeah. Well, because there's That's times true. that, and um, my family hears this all the time. Because there's days that it seems like everything I try to do goes wrong, mm-hmm. and everything it's like, okay, did I not? hear you Lord did I not and then I change and go you know what I must be on the right track I must be doing the right thing because something's trying to stop me Mm -hmm. from getting there so I obviously heard right and this is going to be a great day and this is going to be a great thing so just keep pushing through because because like you said I did have that conversation with God I do know Mm -hmm. Um, but sometimes we question ourselves yeah well and when our focus is on the end result on Uh on the goal on the the finish line Mm -hmm. you know the things that are between us and that don't matter as much like right they they're not going to change the trajectory of which way we go it's going to affect how we get there Mm -hmm. but Mm -hmm. it's secondary that's you know, good. the primary yes. focus yeah. is is that goal. His mm-hmm. goal was going to Rome. Yep. So I, I just I keep thinking about <laughs> and I think this is so huge for, for teenagers especially. Mm-hmm. Remember that's yeah. Yeah. was on my mind all the time is, you know, when you're you're wanting to, you know, wonder, how do I know if I meet the one? How do I know? <laughs> right. and, and everyone right. says You'll know. You'll know. It's like, well, but that how? tells yeah. me nothing. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. But how do I know? Like, yeah. where's the book on that? And there's mm-hmm. not a book mm-hmm. on that. Mm-hmm. How do I know what God wants me to do? How yep. do I know which path is mine? Like, how How do I know? How do I know? You'll know. And, it, and if you don't know, move. Just, mm-hmm. you know, start Step heading out, start somewhere, somewhere. Yep. and and then your heart will, will guide you and he mm-hmm. will, his voice will guide you. But, mm-hmm. um, yeah, there's just, you know. And you can't do it in fear. No. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes there's those moments that uh, you're either too shy or you're, you're not, you don't feel bold enough or, you know, all these things are, yeah. fear just comes in and then it's like, you know what, I'm not going to step out and do that. Because what if I do it wrong? Mm. Or what if I get rejected? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What yeah, if what if I hear the word no? Mm-hmm. And that's okay. The thing is, is but would you would you rather know and it be a, a no or a not right now or a whatever than than to not even step out and try? Because the Lord calls us to step out and try. Mm-hmm. Just like you said, Nicole, yeah. he's yeah. going to be with us. Oh, yeah. He's given yeah. us an opportunity. Step out of the boat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're not going to know until you step out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's important yeah. to take that step. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
and he will lead you along the way. It reminds me of that scripture. I don't know the address, but it talks about where he will lead you with his eyes. Mm. And it's like, it's very gentle, I feel like. And it's very, mm. like, you have to be watching. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so he's like, okay, now I'm coming over here. So <laughs> course correct or whatever yeah. it may be. And I think sometimes we're waiting for that audible voice mm. of, mm-hmm. this is what you do. Right. Like, <laughs> right, right, right. And I've never had that in my whole entire life. Mm-hmm. I've had an impression from Holy Spirit, yeah. and yeah. he speaks to me in that still, small voice. Like when I was dating Colton, mm-hmm. and the first time we, hang out, we hung out again, we were friends for like ever in high school, and then we started hanging out again when I got back from Bethel, and... He was sitting, talking to my dad, and all of a sudden I just hold, heard Holy Spirit say, you're going to marry him. Ooh. And that's all he said. And I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> but that the knowing came, too. Yeah. And yeah. I was just like, yeah. I had a peace, and I just mm. knew, okay, he's my husband. Mm. I don't know how it's going to happen. I don't know when it's going to happen, but God, you're just, I'm going to let you take it from here. Mm-hmm. So. I'm going to let you guide yeah. that. I'm not going to mm-hmm. step out and try to do it on my own. Right. Just going to let you or... guide that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, so good. But when you I have that direction in mind, mm-hmm. you know, then it doesn't matter what other people say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because you, right. you know that you heard from God. Yeah. And right. That's the thing. I, I, yeah. There, I, I haven't heard from God in every area of my life. Right. Me but right. in the areas that <laughs> I have, you know, if people say something that's contrary to that, it's, I, I don't get, it doesn't confuse me. It, mm-hmm. Yep. yep. I, I'm like, you know, that might be what you see, but you it's well, not and, true. Yeah, you know, right. like, and it's yeah. nothing against them. No. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's just like, I, I know what what I've heard from the Lord. Mm-hmm. And that's where I have peace. I'm not mm-hmm. looking for you to ex- accept it or, or bless it. Because it, it's not dependent on that. Right. Right. And, and, you know, and I've noticed, too, those are the times I don't get offended by them. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You, they, because it, they just don't understand. I just yeah. smile and go, yeah. that's okay, because mm-hmm. you weren't in our conversation. Yeah. 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 You couldn't right. know. And that's okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a hard thing for me is um, people-pleasing. So, mm-hmm. especially when I was younger, like teenagers, yeah. like I wanted to make my parents proud or, mm-hmm. you know, Mm-hmm. my peers or whatever right. and it's like I got to a place where it's like it's okay if people don't agree with me or don't like it but mm-hmm. I'm just gonna do what God asked me to do that reminds so. me sweet little Naomi one of our sweet ladies she oh here it is I kept it right here on my desk <laughs> um she had a word of wisdom one day she came in and was visiting with me and she said the more you love your choices, the less you need others to love mm. them. That's really good. It was really good. Yeah. So I had to write it down, and then I, it, I just have it right here. Um, yeah. Because that's the truth. That's that's part mm-hmm. of that. I don't the people pleasing thing. Yeah. As long yeah. as I know I've heard from God, and I know what our discussion was, and He yeah. has laid out the parts of the path that He's going to lay out. <laughs> Then I'm going to trust yeah. that, and I don't, just like that said, I as long as I'm okay with my choices, I don't yeah. have to depend on someone else to be okay with those. Yeah. Because yeah. the one that matters is the Lord, and He's the one that gave me that. Right. And trust that He'll give you the next step when mm-hmm. you need it. Because mm-hmm. I think that's another thing. We want to know the whole plan. We want to see the whole big picture. That's yeah. definitely me. Yeah. <laughs> just lay it all and out there like, for me, Lord, so I know what I'm doing. It's a leap of faith, though. Mm-hmm. It's like, like you said, you just have to start walking. Just start mm-hmm. moving. Mm-hmm. Do something. Do and something. And I will show you the rest yeah. of and it. And if, if something's not yeah. right, that's when you'll feel it. You'll yeah. be like, oh, yeah. I, I did that. Yeah, it doesn't. Mm-hmm. There's something that doesn't feel right. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I, I think that's where you're heading here. Sometimes, mm-hmm. I mean, the, what's hard to navigate, too, and I think this is just as we grow in the Lord, sometimes we feel, you know, an opposition or a friction mm-hmm. or, mm-hmm. you know, like we're bumping up against something. Yeah. How do we know if that is God putting a halt to something mm-hmm. or if that's something that we're supposed mm-hmm. to push through? Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, I don't have a formula for that. Like, I, <laughs> there is no formula. It's That's where relationship with God comes in. Yes. You have to have yes. that constant conversation with Him, or mm-hmm. you're not going to know. Whether, whether it's, this is an attack from the enemy because He's trying to keep me from what God has, or mm-hmm. this is just life, or this is God closing the door. Yeah. Like, yeah. 
I don't know. Maybe you have more wisdom on that. I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't have a cookie cutter answer for that. You know (laughs) what I mean? But for me, it's always Mm -hmm. gone back to the, okay, what do I know about God? Mm. Yeah. What do I know about me? Is this, because if I know me, then that thought is not anything I would have thought of. Mm. That's got to be God. Yeah. Or, okay, that feeling, I mean, a lot of times our feelings lie to us, Mm -hmm. but it's different when it's a discernment. Yeah. It, it's it's something that you know in your in your soul and your spirit that that's it, mm-hmm. and it's okay for the path to change because sometimes mm-hmm. the Lord leads us to this kind of like a um, I was going to say like a scavenger hunt or something like that. You know, he, he yeah. leads you here, and then you get your next clue or you get your yeah, next yeah. revelation, that, and you get your next because and then. Because if he just told me point A to point Z, I would find my own B, D, E, J, K, you know, (laughs) I would find my own and it may not be in the order that he wanted. But but if I trust the Lord, then it's like, okay, I feel like I'm supposed to do this. And I step out and I do that. That's getting me to to the very first point. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to give me something else or he's going to go, you went too far. Or it wasn't for now, or something, and that, and you you'll discern that you'll you'll feel that in mm-hmm. your spirit. You'll feel that you'll you'll have thoughts. You'll have understandings that you know are not from you. Mm-hmm. And then it's like okay, so and then I'm always very quick to go okay, then what God? Now what? Mm-hmm. Show me the next clue. Show me the next yeah. you know whatever yeah. and. And he is always faithful to do that. And so I think sometimes it is, it's, or a little Easter egg hunt or something, you know, it's this little, it's this little thing that, do you trust me? And do you trust that I'm going to show you the next thing? Hmm. And, and if it's wrong or different, it doesn't mean you did it wrong or you made the wrong choices. As long as you're following me, you won't make the wrong choices, but but sometimes we get ahead of God. Sometimes mm-hmm. we get off path a little bit. And it's just simply, okay, back over here, or I wanted you to turn there. You went the wrong exit. You took the <laughs> 209 instead of the 208, you know. <laughs> and and it's, but it's easy to get back mm-hmm. onto that, I think. Yeah. But sometimes instead for me, I'll do that, oh, I did it wrong again. Mm-hmm. I did it wrong again. Can't do anything right instead of just... Trusting the Lord and trusting what I know, I'll hear people's voices. I'll hear people's opinions. Mm. And then I'll do that instead of what I know the Lord's telling me. And so it 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 really is what you're saying. It's you 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 have to have that relationship with God. Mm -hmm. And you have to know his voice and you have to know that it's okay. I made a wrong turn, Lord. I'm so sorry, but I'll get back on the right. You know, I think that's part of learning his voice too, though. It is like, oh, I didn't quite hear that right. Let's get back on the path. But I think what you're, what I hear you saying is you follow the peace Mm -hmm. because I, when I know I'm in the right path or whatever God is calling me to do, I have that peace. Mm -hmm. And when I'm not like Mm -hmm. there, it's not there. Mm -hmm. And I think that is one way that God shows us like he's closing a door or Mm -hmm. something Ooh, like I think, that, you know. I think that's really revealing the mm-hmm. peace. follow the peace. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Well, I I was just reminded. I can't remember which one of you brought this up um, as we were starting, but um, about how God um, never expected us to go through this life alone. He mm-hmm. he right. he lays out plans for us, but he goes with us. Mm -hmm. And so Mm -hmm. I guess we can take comfort in knowing that as we're traversing this maze, you know, (laughs) that we are with the maker of it. Like he, he's got the map, he's got the bird's eye view and he's also (laughs) walking with us. And so it's not like, um, he's calling out to us from miles away, you know, or we got to hear his voice on the radio, like, come in, God, are you there? <laughs> you know? It's like, no, he's actually right there mm-hmm. with us. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So, well, and, and I said earlier, you know, step out of the boat. When, when we stepped out of the 
boat. You know, when we read that in Scripture, yeah, he was fine as long as he kept his eyes on Jesus. Mm-hmm. And so yeah. step out of the boat. Keep taking your next step. Just don't take your eyes off of Jesus, and it'll always be right. Mm-hmm. And you'll have that peace. And there was still a storm going on around them. Yes, yes. Yeah. But he had, like you said, he had that peace mm-hmm. to get out of the boat. Because he's right there. So, yeah. He's not far away. I mean, he yeah. couldn't look him in the eye if he was that far mm-hmm. away, just like you're saying, Jamie. So yeah. as, long as, as long as you keep him close, which means you have to have a relationship with him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I, I, I think it's just kind of a common thread through every conversation that we have is that it's, it's really about, like, we're not meant to be independent we Mm -hmm. we he doesn't just save us and then just set us free you know like (laughs) bye have a nice life you know i'll see you in heaven you know (laughs) things work out okay for you you know that's that's not his heart he we're we're growing in him and we're walking with him and we do Mm -hmm. this life with him Mm -hmm. so it's it's yeah yeah, it's just about keeping that relationship going so we Mm -hmm. we we know how to recognize his voice mm-hmm. and, and his peace and his yeah. direction. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not anything that, that we can teach. I mean, we no. can talk about it till we're blue in the face, but you know, if you don't have that, that trust in God and, and hearing his voice for yourself, I mean, this, this is all secondary. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. because we can't and, and you know, and, and I can watch either of you, walking your life out and from the outside perspective I'm thinking oh that's maybe not the right path but just like you Mm -hmm. were saying Jamie I didn't have that conversation Mm -hmm. now I can come alongside and go can I pray with you things going okay you know and just be uplifting and encouraging but I'm not going to try to change your mind and I'm not going to try to give you my two cents worth we talked about that in the other you know any unsolicited advice (laughs) and and i think sometimes we seek out that advice because we're uncertain and that again goes back to but are do you know the the voice of your Mm -hmm. your god yeah and are you listening to him are you in that relationship are you having those conversations yeah. Well, yeah. that's really what I think, I mean, the heart of this podcast uh, through and through from mm-hmm. beginning to this point is is directing our hearts to the Father. Yes. Mm-hmm. And um and speaking the truths from the word yeah. that can give us all um uh what's the word I'm trying to think of? Security. security you know we walk in good. insecurities yeah. and that's yes. what makes us question things it yes. makes us question well yeah. what do you what do you think the will of god is for my life <laughs> if, if you're right. asking that question from anybody you're going after the wrong source mm-hmm. yes. and you know yes. there's there's an insecurity there mm-hmm. um where you feel like someone else might be hearing god better than you so let them right. tell you what god wants to say Mm-mm. guys we are in the yes. new testament <laughs> church yes. and the holy spirit is yes. within us as mm-hmm. believers mm-hmm. and so that means we we don't have to depend on a prophet to tell us yes. what god's yes. word exactly. is yep. saying and what god's spirit is mm-hmm. saying because it is in us. Yes. And so if you're mm-hmm. missing it, get close to God. Get close to yeah. God. Uh, uh, and prophets are wonderful. I'm, I mean, the prophets, the, angels. I had a yes. lady ask me in Bible study last week, well, you know, an angel's never come to me. Why did an angel have to go to Mary and tell her? Because they didn't have the Holy Spirit Mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. And when they did, just like the gifts, it was given for a time and then removed. And then given for a time and removed. Where we have the Holy Spirit Mm 24-7. We don't need an angel. We don't need a prophet. We just need a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think that's where security starts. Yes. Is it... If you are saved, if Mm -hmm. you've asked Jesus in your heart, his spirit is indwelling (laughs) you. You are filled. You've got it. Mm -hmm. And so let, I just want to speak that security into all of you listeners. Yes. You've got it. Mm -hmm. You've got it. And so Mm -hmm. pray and listen Mm -hmm. for yourself. Yes. But the Holy Spirit's right there. Mm Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. That yeah. kind of like goes straight into the next verse that I had in Romans mm-hmm. 5. I love nice. that. 
God is so good. <laughs> um, so starting in verse one, it says, therefore, since we have been made right in God's sight by faith, we have peace with God because of mm-hmm. what Jesus Christ, our Lord has done for us. So we are right with God right now. And he, his spirit is with us. Um, because of our faith, Christ has brought us into this place of undeserved privilege where we now stand, and we confidently mm, and joyfully mm-hmm. look forward to sharing God's glory. We can rejoice, too, when we run into problems and trials, for we know that they help us develop endurance. Mm-hmm. And endurance develops strength of character, and character strengthens our confident hope of salvation. Yeah. And this hope will not lead to disappointment, for we know how dearly God loves us because He has given us the Holy Spirit mm-hmm. to fill our hearts with His love. Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm getting yes. goosebumps yes. right now. <laughs> I know, I did too. <laughs> yes. That's just encouraging to me, because it's like, God is confirming this Mm -hmm. through, not just through, like, the things we're talking about on the podcast, but through what Mm -hmm. Pastor Jim has been speaking on Sundays and what we're speaking about at the different conferences that Mm -hmm. we're doing with the youth. And Mm -hmm. God just wants us, I feel like God just wants us to know, Mm -hmm. like, He's got us. Yes. And He has good things for us. (laughs) And Yes. Yeah. So. His love makes it worth it all. All those, Mm -hmm. the things that we may be facing, the challenges, the trials, his love makes it all worth it. Yes. And I was talking with um, Marissa, one of our youth leaders. She, oh, I love um, her. Yes, she's amazing. We were talking on the way home from the conference this weekend about, um, I, you know, how, how do people walk in this life without him? Mm-hmm. And I was like, I, I would not be here if it weren't for God. And um, I, do, I just... I don't want to walk without his Holy Spirit in those situations. And thankfully we don't have to. Right. But I just like, I just want everyone to know mm-hmm. you don't have to walk through that alone. You don't. Mm-mm. God is with you. Mm-hmm. He wants to be with you. Mm-hmm. So he's very relational. Yeah. He, he, he wants to be there with you. He wants to be your comforter, your mm-hmm. guide, your, your shoulder to cry on. I mean, mm-hmm. he wants to be all those things. So allow him to be that. Yeah. Well, and I, yeah. I love the thought that, um, and we were seeing about this at our worship night on Friday, that he's yes. the well that won't run dry. Yes. Yeah. And I was just, yeah. you know, there, there are things that we, you know, p- can put our, our hope and our trust in. Mm-hmm. You know, I was thinking like a savings account. You know, if you got mm-hmm. extra and you just put it in the savings account and that gives you a bit of financial security, mm-hmm. knowing that if something were to happen, there's some kind of buffer between you and and just desperation yeah but that only reaches so far you know Mm -hmm. it's not limitless that well will run dry yeah Mm -hmm. um Mm -hmm. if if it's pulled on too much Mm -hmm. but god's source (laughs) you know when we plug into him as our source as our well even with all of humanity on Mm -hmm. the planet right now (laughs) if we were all to call on god and need him for something big he would be able to fulfill all of our needs and yes. and still have mm-hmm. just as much yes. to give. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, yeah. There is no end to his provisions. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, we're, where our strengths end, <laughs> yes. right. God's still there. Mm-hmm. And, so yeah, we can always turn to him and, and know that he's still got enough left for us. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's so good. So the last verse I had was Romans 8, 31 through 39. And I'm not going to read the whole thing. Um, but it's just the part that talks about what shall separate us from the love of God. Mm. No trial, no circumstance, mm-hmm. not even angels or demons, nothing we fear mm-hmm. can separate us from his love. And so I just wanted to encourage us with that whatever you're challenging what maybe maybe you're you are well you're walking on the path and things Mm -hmm. aren't easy and things are you know you can go to god and say god this really sucks right now like why right and he may give you an answer and he may not but just know like his love is there to comfort you and and he loves you so very much Mm -hmm. through it all and he's proud of you not only that he's proud of you yes so Mm -hmm. yes just like a good daddy yeah. yeah. So proud and just mm-hmm. wants to uplift and, and help you. And so, I mean, there's there's nothing but grace, mercy, and love. Mm-hmm. 
no matter yeah. what we're dealing with, no matter. He's a big God, just like you said. He's a big God. He can mm-hmm. he can handle the questions. He can handle the, this really stinks right now, <laughs> you know. And he's like, yep, you're right. Yeah. But are you going to keep moving forward? Yeah. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I'm right here with you. So let's just keep walking. It'll be okay. <laughs> right? Yes, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Hmm. Well, thank you for tuning in to She Is Podcast by Refuge City Church. We pray that you have been encouraged and equipped in knowing who you are in Christ. If you are wanting to have a personal relationship with Jesus, pray this with me. Dear Jesus, I know that you love me. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. Please come into my heart and stay and help me to hear your voice and grow in you. In Jesus' name, amen. We would like to hear from you. Be sure to subscribe to this podcast to hear more from us every week. Connect with us on Facebook and Instagram. The links are in the show notes. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, until next time, you are moving forward. Hmm.